What's up guys I'm back with another video uh, today's gonna be a really simple and short video I had a few questions people wondering how I get the trucks apart well spin master trucks are very simple they just have a Phillips screwdriver stick it in there give it a twist keep twisting until you feel it go punk Ruby screwdriver, give it a jiggle, give it a pull apart. The screw will fall out, not always. Sometimes you have to take another screwdriver and pop the screw through. So there you have it. To take the windshield out, there's a rivet, a rivet, and a rivet on the older versions. On the new ones, they just have one and then they have pins here, which is a lot easier for customizers because they just have to do the one down here. So that's Spin Master. To get the body off, the easiest way, I mean to get the cage off, the easiest way is to take your thumbs at the back side and just give it a push up. It'll snap off and there you go. Okay, so so after 2018, Hot Wheels split from Monster Jam, and they started making their own. So the ones before 2018, there's very few that have screws, but if you keep going back in the years, 2017, 2016, they had rivets. So what you have to do is you have to get a drill bit, which I didn't bring up here, because I'm just taking these apart. And you'll have to drill out. Some of them have a post. And if you take a small drill after you get the body off from the rivet that's in there that you drilled out. You have the post. You can drill a little hole in the post and use a small screw with a washer and remount them. But the new ones, they have screws in them. So you can go out, you can get yourself a kit. You can find it. They're tri bits. There's like... A tri bit is kind of like an electronic bit that would go on an electronic, you know, like a PlayStation or, or something like that. They would take apart a Nintendo. So they're just tri bits. I'm not sure the size. I think it's like uh, 0.22. I'm not really sure the size because every time I had one, I'd break it. So what I went out and did is I have a bench grinder downstairs. I made my own out of a Phillips head screwdriver to make a tri bit. And I just went and ground it down, ground it down until I could get it in there where it would actually sit in the tri head screw. So let's get this one off. I got my screwdriver. There's a tri head screw down inside here. You have to twist it until you can find where the tri head screw will come out. And these are a little harder to get it off because. Sometimes they put like a glue on there. So let me get this started. Okay, I can kind of feel it tightening up now. And I'll just slowly turn this one out. But these are a lot harder. So you got to really hold it and go slow. Little left, little left, little turn until you start feeling it loosen up. This one's starting. It's really hard. I guess they don't want Bigfoot to be taken apart. So just keep going. You'll feel the body start rising up in your hand. These are really long too. So I need a little pressure. So I'll watch out. Maybe it can see better. strong you get this one off usually they come off a lot easier give it a little jiggle it's starting to get loose got a little bit more screw on there almost these are so long so hard to get out because they glue them right in I think we almost got it off Seems like it's off. 
give it a pull. Oh, we got a little bit more. Yeah, I thought this would be an easy video. Turns out this is a hard one. They're not usually this hard to get off, so. Once you get it loosened, it usually comes right off. I think I heard it come off. All right, there we go. So with this one, these are pretty easy to get off. You don't have to drill these so much. You can just take, um, hold on a second, and I'll be right back, and I'll get you to, what I'll show you how to take that out easily. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, what I usually do is I'll get a little flathead screwdriver, and I'll start at the top where the windshield goes onto the roof, and you just take that screwdriver for the Hot Wheels. Spin Masters, obviously, if you try to do that on Spin Master, this will crack. So these have to be drilled out on a Spin Master. So don't try to attempt to take these off with a screwdriver because you'll snap this because it's a different type of plastic. So just give it a little wiggle till it pops up over that rivet. Do it from one side, flip it around. Get it from the other side. So that one's off. And now just get into the hood and do the same thing. Try to get up underneath there and pop it off. So this side's off. Now we'll get this side. Sometimes it's hard to get underneath them. That's why you need a nice, thin, flathead screwdriver. Okay, so this windshield just popped out. This part comes out with it with the motor. If you've never seen one apart, this is what they look like. The big foot, the grill, the motor, and the windshield. So when you're putting them back together, after you get it all cleaned up or primed or painted, simplest thing to do, just put it back together like you took it apart. Take the windshield, grab the pin, Pop it in there. Take your flathead screwdriver and just wiggle it back down until it pops onto the pins, onto the old rivets. Same thing with the top. And there you go, it's back together. So that's just a simple video of how to take trucks apart. Um, I didn't do the Hot Wheels body, but it's pretty much just falls off usually because these aren't on there too well. Some of them in the back, there'll be a little clip here where you can just pop it up. Most of the time you want to start from the back and you want to get up underneath where the frame is and just pop them off. So there you have it. Let's set them up so you guys can get a good look. Let me show you the screws, the difference. Um, this is the tri-head screw. Let me see if I can get you in camera here. That's the tri-head screw. Let me tap my camera to focus it. I'll put it over here. There you go. That's the tri-head. See, it's got three little... It's like an electronic screw. And it's a lot longer than the Spin Master. Here's the Spin Master. Just a simple Phillips head screw, tiny, not too long. So there's the two different screws. Here's the two different cages. This is a Hot Wheels. This is a Spin Master. These are really nice because you can detail them. They're a little thicker plastic, where this is really tiny, so you need to be a little more skills to do these. But they all can be done. And we'll do that in the next video. I'll show you how to um, use your paint pens or a brush and, you know, some testers paint or whatever and get in here and just detail these. But that's the next video. Here's what the frame looks like after it's all taken apart. Pretty simple. Here's the body. So here we go. Let me set them up. And we'll end this video here. Spin Master. Uh, we want to put the motor in the back. There we go. Hot Wheels. Now remember.
remember, Hot Wheels pre-2018 are uh, usually have a rivet. So you need a drill for that. But there you go. Let's end the video and I will show you the next video how to detail these after we get them all apart like we just did. Take care. Thanks for watching.